Hello students, welcome to online classes for the second year students. Now, today's topic is the cycle, the class number 6. Now, here this is the one of the concept, the cycle equation x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is the making intercept on the x axis is 2 into root of g squared minus c. Now we doing this, the circle is making intercept on x axis. Now the circle is the cost of x axis at the two points. Here we consider the two points A and B. Here we taking the points upon the x axis A x1 comma 0 and B x2 comma 0. Now here this is the intercept on the x axis. The distance between A and B is the, the circle is making intercept on x axis. Now students, now we bring this uh, the intercept 2 into root of g square minus c. Now the circle equation. The circle equation is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Students, this circle is the first the x axis at a and b. Now this a and b y coordinates are 0. Now so putting y is equal to 0 in this equation, this equation is becomes x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0. Here put y is equal to 0 in this, this equation is becomes x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0. Here students we observe this, this is the quadratic equation in terms of x. Here whose roots are, whose roots, whose roots are the x coordinates of a and b. That means here x1 and x2. Now writing this, so the sum of the roots, here sum of the roots, sum of the roots. The sum of the roots of this quadratic equation is given by x1 plus x2 is equal to Actually, minus x quotient by x square quotient here, this is the minus 2g. And write the product of the roots. Product of the roots. Here, product of the roots here, x1, x2 is equal to constant by x square quotient. Here, constant here c and x square quotient here 1. Here, these are the values x1 plus x2 and x1, x2. Students, so now we have to find out the distance between a and b. Here a coordinate here x1 comma 0 and b is equals to x2 comma 0. The distance between these two points is the, the circle is making intercept on x axis that is a b is equals to under root of x1 minus x2 whole square. So and 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Here a b is equals to under root of x1 minus x2 whole square. So we know this x1 minus x2 whole square can be written as in terms of x1 plus x2 and x1 x2. Here x1 minus x2 whole square can be written as x1 plus x2 whole square minus 4x1 x2. Here writing this result x1 minus x2 whole square can be written as in terms of the known values x1 plus x2 and x1 x2. So under root of x1 plus x2 whole square minus 4 x1 x2. So already we know this AB under root of x1 plus x2 is equal to minus 2g. Yes, minus 2g whole square minus 4. Here x1 x2 already we know this C. Yes. That is equal to under root of minus 2g whole square is equal to 4g square and 4c. Here 4 comma under root of 4 is equal to 2. 2 of under root of g square minus c. Here, so the circle is making intercept on the x axis is 2 into root of g square minus c. Once again, this is the one of the concept. So to find out that the circle is making intercept upon the x axis, we must so using this formula, here AB is equal to 2 into root of g square minus c. So now another application. So if 
the intercept is equal to 0. So whenever the, the distance between these two points is equal to 0, this will be cars. Yes, the circle is because. We have these students, we have what happened? So whenever the intercept upon the x-axis is 0, the circle is it touches the x-axis. So now, this is the condition for if AD is equal to 0, that means your 2 into root of g square minus e is equal to 0. That means g square is equal to c. So this is the condition for the circuit is a touches x-axis. That means the circuit intersect the x-axis at one point. Here the circuit intersect upon the x-axis at two points. The intersecting intercept upon the x-axis is 2 into root of g square minus c. If the intercept is equal to 0, the circuit is a touches the x-axis. The circuit intersect the x-axis at one point. Yes, friends, we observe this. So the circuit is making intercept upon the x-axis. The x-intercept is 2 into root of g square minus c. And if g square is equal to c, this is the condition for the circuit is at the intersect the x-axis at one point or the circuit is at the x-axis. So next we are going to explain the another concept. So here we so note this problem and another one is second concept of this second one. The circuit x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f5 plus c is equal to 0 making intercept on y axis on y axis is 2 into root of f square minus c. This is the, the second concept. We have to find out the, the circuit is making intercept on the y axis. The intercept on the y axis is 2 into root of f square minus c. Here students here now so we will find in this this law. so the circuit is making intercept on the y axis that means the circuit is cuts the y axis uh, at two points we consider the c and d here this is the x axis and this is the y axis here all is it okay here x dash here y dash now the circuit intersect the y axis at two points we consider the two points C and D. Here C coordinates 0, comma, Y1. Here D coordinates 0, comma, Y1. 0, comma, Y2. 0, comma, Y1 and 0, comma, Y2. The distance between C and D is the, the circle is making intercept on the Y axis. Now, so between this, the circle equation is X square plus Y square plus 2GX plus 2F5 plus C. But the circle cuts the y axis. In this coordinates, any point on the y axis, x coordinate is equal to 0. Now put x is equal to 0 in this. Here, here put x is equal to 0. This will becomes, this will becomes. Here, in this equation put x is equal to 0. Here put x is equal to 0. This will becomes y square plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Here, similarly we observe this. This is the quadratic equation in terms of y. Whose roots are? Whose roots? Here, whose roots are? C is here y1 and uh, y2. y1 and y2. Because, so the y coordinates upon the y, co y coordinate points here, C is equal to 0, comma y1 and D is equal to 0, comma y2. Here, y coordinates are the roots of this quadratic equation. Now, if we have to write the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation, y1 plus y2 is equal to minus 2 here, and the product of the roots y1, y2 is equal to c. So, now, we have to find out the distance between the c and d. c is equal to 0, comma y1, and d is equal to 0, comma y2. The distance between the intersecting point on the y axis is the so y intercept c d is equal to the distance between these two points 0 minus 0 0 and y1 minus y2 whole square just we observe this 0 plus y1 minus y2 whole square students so here we know these are values y1 plus y2 and y1 y2 but writing this y1 minus y2 whole square in terms of this, like 
y1 plus y2 whole square minus 4y1 by 2 is equal to under root of y1 plus y2 is equal to minus 2f minus 2f whole square is equal to 4f square and 4y1 by 2 is equal to c and 4c. Here yeah, just we observe this the distance between this c and d here under root of 4f square minus 4c 4 common under root of 4 is equal to 2 under root of f square minus c. Here students uh, so this is the formula for finding the, the circle x square plus y square plus 2 gx plus 2f by plus c is equal to 0. This is a making intercept on the y axis is cd is equal to 2 into root of f square minus c. Now another condition if the intercept cd is equal to 0. If cd is equal to 0, this will becomes here whenever the intercepts upon the y axis is equal to 0. So, if the circuit is it touches the y axis at one point, at one point, that means uh, the circuit intersects the y axis at one point. Now, the condition for this cd is equal to 0 that implies here 2 into root of f square minus c e is equal to 0 here then f square minus c e is equal to 0 f square is equal to c here students this is the condition for the circuit touches the y axis e is f square is equal to c and this is the formula for so finding the, the circuit is making intercept upon the y axis now these are the useful so results uh, so the circuit is making intercept upon the x axis is 2 into root of g square minus c and the condition for the circuit is uh, so such as the x axis is g square is equal to c and uh, the intercept the circuit is making intercept upon the y axis is 2 into root of f square minus c and uh, if the y intercept is 0 the circuit touches the y axis this is the condition for the circle touches the y axis f square is equal to c now we will doing some so example problem based on these uh, so topics now so example 1 so find out y square minus 2x so minus 4 by minus 1 is equal to 0 so find the x intercept the set of the circuit equation x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4 by minus 1 is equal to 0 here to find out the, the circuit is making intercept upon the x axis here this is the circuit equation now x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. Here we compare the circuit equation with the general form. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus is a 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now here x coefficient here 2g, here 2g is equal to minus 2 and y coefficient here 2f, 2f is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to minus 1 here g is equal to minus 1 and f is equal to minus 2 here students so we have to find out that the circuit is making intercept on the x axis the circuit the circuit is making intercept intercept on the x axis on the x axis is given by the formula 2 into root of 
g square minus c. Yes, 2 into root of. Here g square is equal to so minus 1, minus 1 whole square, here 1, minus c is equal to minus, minus of minus plus, here 2 root 2 units. Yeah, this is the so question. So the circuit, you are find out x intercept of the circuit, x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4 by minus 1 is equal to 0. That is, the circuit is making intercept of all the x axis is 2 into root 2 units. So, or otherwise, yeah, this is the one more. So, the circuit, so making the circuit equation x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4 by minus 1 is equal to 0. So, making x intercept, making intercept on the x axis. Intercept on the x axis. Here, this is the, the circuit is making intercept upon the x axis. 2 into root 2. And another one example. So, here the circuit, the circuit x square plus y square minus x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So, making, making intercept, intercept on the y axis, on the y axis. Now, we will finding the the circuit is making intercept upon the y axis. Here this is the, the circuit is making intercept upon the x axis. Now, we will find out this circuit is making intercept upon the y axis. First, we will take the circuit equation. x square plus y square minus x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Yes, so students comparing this equation with the general form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now, we have x quotient here 2g, we have 2g. We have x quotient here minus 1 and y quotient here 2f, here 2f is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 3. Here 2g is equal to minus 1, g is equal to minus 1 by 2, f is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, now we will find out the the circuit is making intercept upon the y axis. Then the formula is the intercept term. The circuit is making upon the y axis. The y intercept. The y intercept is 2 into root of f square minus c. Here 2 into root of f square is equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4. C is equal to minus, minus of minus plus 3 and taking the LCM 4, here then 2 into 4, 3 is 12 plus 1, here 13, under root of 4 is equal to 2, 2, 2 cancel, the y intercept is root 13 units, root 13 units. Here students, these are the two examples to find out that the circuit is making intercept upon the x axis and the circuit is making intercept on the y axis. For getting the, the x intercept, so first we will write the given circuit equation and we compare this circuit with the general form to getting the values of g and f point c and substituting these values in this uh, useful formula 2 into root of g square minus c. And uh, to find out the intercept upon the y axis, we are substituting all these values in this useful formula.